Built about a thousand years before Stonehenge or the Great Pyramid of Cheops, Karnak's 3,000 standing stones still baffle today's historians. Lynn and I wanted to see them. When we arrived at the Celtic Hotel in Karnak, we went for a walk in the windy drizzle. The site consists of stone alignments or rows, dolmens, which are tombs, tumuli, which are burial mounds, and menhirs, which are solitary standing stones. The cute little church is nice, but the real attraction is what it sits on. The largest burial mound in continental Europe, built around 5000 BC. The site contains a tumulus, which is a mound of earth and stone raised over a grave, a menhir, which is a standing stone, and a dolmen, a type of single-chambered megalithic tomb. It seems that we have always built some kind of structure to honor our dead.
There was word of a strike by train workers, angry at pension plan changes, so we confirmed that our train was not affected the day before. All part of the adventure. We realized this was the last day in France. Tomorrow we were to fly home. So I naturally have a mixture of emotions. A deep appreciation of what we've been able to experience. A reluctance to leave, but yet an anticipation of sleeping in my own bed. Yes, the Eiffel Tower was first considered an eyesore. Victor Hugo, one of the greatest writers of all time. I think it is easy to forget how physically demanding life was not long ago, and how much shorter life was. These posters celebrating French history got me thinking about how our way of life has changed, for the most part, for the better. I just hope we maintain thoughtful control over the ever-increasing rate of change. Ever since my first jet airliner flight to India and Nepal back in 1973, I have felt that airliners were a bit like spaceships, flying you over alien lands to exciting new worlds. Flying over northern Canada like this, I realized how incredibly big it is. Flying over mountains has always grabbed my attention to either the ones I have explored or the ones that I have dreamed of exploring.
going away, always a treat and privilege. Coming home to this part of the world, wonderful. <laughs>